All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and today is Thursday, and so that means it's time to cover the TWAB, and there is some extra spicy news, some really good stuff in this week's TWAB. This is a very meaty TWAB. So first up, they just give a short little intro here, and then we get right into this synth strand update that they're doing. Uh, right here it says, effective at the start of Season 15, we will deprecate the passively earned world currency synth strand that was used to purchase armor synthesis bounties from A to 1. In its place, these bounties will be purchasable for 10,000 Glimmer instead. And the reason why they're doing that is because removing this currency also frees up a slot in the consumables inventory bucket, a bucket that could be full for those of you carrying around a large quantity of items. Finally, we hope this change reduces the complexity of the armor synthesis system with only one remaining currency for each class that can be immediately turned in at A to 1 Saloon for a synth weave token. So they're trying to, you know, simplify things, mainstream, make things a little more mainstream, rather, and uh, some good changes to synth weave. Um, now onto the next part here. They are giving out this emblem right here. This emblem looks really sick. They're actually giving it out because they're doing some adjustments to their bungee sword count. They're moving it to a new site, et cetera, et cetera. And so they want everyone to log in and to transition everyone over there as quickly as possible. So they're trying to incentivize you to do so. Uh, before July 31st, you will get this emblem. So get to it if you've ever bought anything on the Bungie store. I obviously have. And you can get this emblem for free, which is pretty dope. Next up, they're talking about double your fun. Next week, they're going to do two times nightfall loot. And the palindrome will be in that perk or that weapon pool, rather. The shadow price will also be there, which is not nearly as tantalizing. And the swarm as well. But with double loot drops and the palindrome, which is a meta weapon... Right now, that is definitely really interesting. And to keep in mind that getting the swarm could be pretty interesting because they're go doing going to be doing some buffs to machine guns next season. And swarm is actually one of the few machine guns that can actually roll Vorpal. We don't know what their machine gun buffs are going to be. Are they going to make them good for boss DPS or are they going to make them better for ad clear? We don't know just yet. But if it is boss DPS, the Vorpal swarm is definitely one you want to grab. Make sure to get in there and try to keep one in that vault. You know, let it collect some dust and. Let's just see, you know, we'll see if it's good uh, next season. So, and then they said, speaking of Nightfalls, they're actually changing the rotation. And I made a video about this. The Bungie devs are watching this. Hello, Mr. Bungie dev, if you're watching this. I made a video talking about this huge dilemma that they were in, where they have one weapon per each week right here. It says one, 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 and then three rotation, right? Well, they are adjusting that now. And in season 15, they're going to have eight weapons. And they're going to do it in pairs consisting of one newer and one older weapon, which is really exciting to see. So obviously also with that, you can see that there's six right now that they clearly must be bringing just two new adept weapons next season, which is a little sad to see because last season they brought three, this season they brought three. And so now next season, I guess they're going to sort of, you know, dial it down a little bit and only bring two. It would seem, I mean, I could be wrong, you know, but it seems like they're doing it. We'll have eight weapons. So that seems like they sort of revealed that whether they meant to or not. And they're going to be doing it in pairs, which will definitely make it a little more tantalizing, I'd say. Uh, we shall see. Those two weapons that are seeming to be coming, it says, for example, the Comedian, Shadow Price, Hothead, Hung Jury. Now, right now, we have the Shadow Price and the Hung Jury. We don't have the Comedian or the Hothead. If you don't know what those are, if you weren't a D1 player, the Comedian is a shotgun, this one right here, and was actually was actually really good in, in D1. Uh, and we'll see what sort of perk pool it has and see if it is you know viable in the current PvP meta sandbox, or perhaps it might be viable in the PvE sandbox. I don't know right now. Slug shotguns are just so strong, so it's hard to see, but we'll see. With time will tell. And along with that, the hothead is a rocket, which obviously has a ton of potential. Depends on what perks it can roll in it. Obviously, auto-loading Vorpal is really strong right now. There's a variety of other perks that they could put in the perk pool to make it really strong, though. So keep that in mind. The hothead could be a meta rocket. Just depends on what perks it rolls with. And there will obviously be an adept version if it is a nightfall reward. So if you've been missing out on the hothead or the comedian, they're being brought back. Next season, they're going to be in the Nightfall rotation. So some pretty cool stuff with that. And along with that, they actually mention right here, this one's really interesting. The additions this season have the spicy perk combinations typical of Nightfall loot, including a couple of perks not seen on these archetypes in the past. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. wonder what perks those will be. And along with that, they go over a few different uh, tools and stuff like that. Uh, they have a tech blog and nothing else too crazy along with that. That is pretty much the entirety of bungee news so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are you excited for the new you know nightfall rotation you're gonna get essentially double drops one new one old weapon and you could have uh get the comedian it could get come back so who knows what that will 
turn out to be, if that will be a really fun thing weapon to chase. Sometimes some of these old weapons, they're not as interesting as we remember them from D1, that's for sure. Sometimes they're even more interesting, like the palindrome is really, really crazy, really, really good. And uh, make sure to uh, capitalize and get in on that free emblem while you still can, because that is a good looking emblem. I'll be reading all of your thoughts down in the comment section below. This is the Bungie news for today. This is the TWAB. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on every TWAB coming out every week for the rest of the year. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.